Hi everyone. As promised, I am going to try to recreate what I stumbled upon yesterday with the the lines, the symmetrical lines that I did on a smaller scale. So this one is a 12 by 12 gesso board though, um, as opposed to a canvas because I didn't have a 12 by 12 canvas open. So we're going to try this on the board and hopefully it turns out just as well. The products that I used are Artist Loft Metallic White, and I mixed that with Apple Barrel White, about half and half, and then I just put it in a squeeze bottle so I could have it and to use it for other projects. Um, and I put some water in here until it got fairly runny. You can see it moves really quickly. So hopefully you can see how runny that is. It's not as runny as water. It's probably uh, the consistency a little bit more flowy than honey. Honey is too thick, if that makes any sense. And heavy cream is still probably a little bit too thick. So a little bit more water than that, right where you feel uncomfortable that, oh, maybe I might have too thin of a paint, and then it'll be perfect. Um, then I had Apple Barrel Key West, very pretty tealish, bluish, greenish color. And then I used this for the first time, and it's gorgeous. The metal color pops right through. And it is Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics, and it's bright metallic paint, and it is gold. And then this is the silicone that I used. Um, on the little 4x4 four four canvas, I put two or three drops of silicone in each one, but because this is a 12x12, 12 12, I'm going to maybe put a little bit more in if, if you want more cells and more reaction. If you want less and just more of the lines, um, like I got yesterday, I didn't have a lot of silicone in that one, but the other one that I did, I had more in. Hopefully that makes sense. And then I have just bottled water. I use distilled water and I filled up the bottle. Um, if you want to, you can put a little bit of dish soap in there. If you want to try and get some cells, that's a way to do it. Otherwise, uh, just any water as long as it's not hard water. So if you have hard water, just get bottled water, distilled water, anything else other than the tap water that's hard. And then of course you've got to level your surface. So level it from all sides. I leveled it this way. You do it this way, do it towards the middle, and each end. And once you're level, uh, you can write, start putting your paints in. I'll be back in just a second to get the paint set up. Okay, so the other thing uh, that you will need, uh, you can try it without it. I know some people use Floetrol and that's their pouring medium with paint or they just do paint and water. Um, I like doing like a 60-40 split and I just use Elmer's School Glue. This great big container, it says $24.99 on it, but it was not. It was $14.97 or something. Um, so you can get a huge container for not a lot of money really. So. What I'm going to try to do here is show you, I've just got these little bathroom cups, they're the little plastic ones, they're not the large ones, they're just the small ones. So I'm going to try to show you how much paint for this 12 by 12 that I'll be putting in here. You can kind of see how it's full, maybe what, one fifth of the cup. So you put that in there, and if you get this metallic, you want to make sure you shake it uh, before you dump it in, because it does need to be mixed or shaken a little bit. You can see how gorgeous it is, and a little goes a long way.
so a little bit less of the gold. Hopefully you can see that. And then in with that, we're going to do our Elmer's glue. You could probably get away with a 50-50. I haven't done anything more than that. Not with this way, anyway. Um, I have used more Elmer's glue in other pores, and I got a lot of cells, so it was probably more like 60 Elmer's glue and 40 paint. And then the white that I have, I'm going to dump in here uh, so you can see the consistency, hopefully. This is already mixed. You see how fast that's coming out of there? It's very, very, very... Good. It moves very quickly. So that's the consistency I'm going to try and get the rest of the paint. So all you do is mix it around very well, just like normal. Uh, once you have it mixed, then you're going to add some water. And I'm just going to show this in this Key West color. And then put it on pause and I'll be back because I don't think everybody really wants to see me mix in water. I just kind of want to show you how thin it needs to be. So you're probably going to add the rest of the way water. Um, so it's quite a bit. And then just stir until you get to the consistency that you need. And keep stirring for a minute or so because the paint will thicken up again. And I will be right back when it's done. Okay, everyone, um, once you get your paints mixed and you've let them set for a few minutes just to let any air bubbles out, um, let me show you the consistency a little bit. So hopefully you can see this. So it doesn't really stay on the stir stick very much. This is probably a little thicker than yesterday even. But you can see it runs right off. And that's what you want. And just keep in mind that different colors, you will have to put different amounts of water in. Um, this gold color especially. You would think you would need less water, uh, but at least in this one uh, that I found yesterday, I needed a little bit more water in this one, just because it seems to be so fluffy, for lack of a better way to describe it. It's beautiful, isn't it? I love, love, love this color. Oh, so glad I stumbled upon that. Okay, and the next thing I do before I actually do any pouring. Now this would be, um, you can put glitter in your white if you would like to as well. Just make sure it's super fine glitter. Um, I did get some of that. I believe Walmart had it and it was only a few dollars. So hopefully you can read that. Sulin extra fine glitter. Crystal Diamond, and it's just the really fine white. So if you want a little bit more sheen and shimmer to your painting, definitely add that. So the next thing I do, or did yesterday, this is new for me too, I just did it once, so we'll see if it does it again, is I'm going to pour some of my metallic white all over the top. And then I'm just going to put it on with a palette knife. Or if you've got a paintbrush, uh, you can do that as well. But I'm just going to smooth it out and go towards all the edges. You can see there's a lot of bubbles in there, so I'm going to let the bubbles pop too. 
uh, for a second once I get it spread thinly. And once I have this spread out, I will be back and show you what we do next. Okay, so I got most of the air bubbles out. I didn't torch it or use a heat gun, um, only because I'm new at this and I have no idea if I can do that on this base layer or not without causing problems. So because I kind of want it to flow easily, I just didn't do it. And then once it's... Uh, once the pour is on there, I'll be able to go ahead and use my heat gun. So that'll get any of the remaining ones out. Um, it still does look like there's quite a few bubbles, air bubbles in my paint in the cups. Uh, but that's okay. I can work with that. So it's not really a big issue. I'm undecided at this point because this is such a large or much larger than the larger than the 4x4. Yesterday, I used maybe a quarter of this cup of paint, slightly more, maybe a third. Um, and I'm wondering if I can get away with just filling this all the way up with with this size. Really undecided. Hmm. I guess we shall see, right? I mean, the only thing that can happen is I have to add a little bit more paint, and that's not too big of a deal, I don't think. Okay, so the first one in is I'm still going to put my white. I'm just going to put a little bit more at first than I did yesterday. And then I'm going to put some gold, and it's just equal parts, really. And I'm just layering it on top of each other. And then the Key West. And then just a little bit more white. And then some more gold. Still a little thicker than what I had it before. And then some Key West. Oh boy, oh boy. And then I'll just top it off with a little bit more white. So I still have quite a bit of paint left. Um, because honestly, there's probably half in each one left, and this is totally full. And remember yesterday I said I didn't have it full. So we'll see if this is going to work or not. So the last thing I did right before I got ready to pour, or the thing before, is I just took a little bit of my gold and I placed... A circle of it right in the center, as close to the center as you want, I suppose. Uh, I need another stir stick. And then, right before the pour, I just took the stick all the way to the bottom, did two stirs, one clockwise, one counterclockwise. I will be absolutely amazed <laughs> if this turns out as good as it did yesterday. So, because I'm on camera, you know it's going to fail, right? So you don't want to pour too fast. Uh, you got to make sure that it's slow enough. And I just started like this. And I just kept pouring in the center, and then those lines would just keep going out. And I'm actually pouring a little more crooked. Sorry. I'm a little nervous at doing this while people are watching. And here 
comes the gold, the fun. It's starting to look like a record. The fine grooves on the outside, it's so cool. Definitely enough paint for a 12 by 12. I may have done more. Just keep going until it's done, coming out. And then when you're ready to stop it, just make sure you pull it up so none drops on the rest. And let me show you what that kind of looks like now. It's so cool. Isn't that cool? Like, I'm amazed at myself that somehow I came up with this. I have no idea what I'm doing. So that's what it looks like. I guess at this point, um, you could torch it if you would like to. If you want to get some cell action, but for me, I thought it was pretty without it. So I'm going to let it set there for a second and while I get some gloves on because I want to be able to pick up the camera again and show you. And I can't do that with painty hands. Usually I have paint everywhere. Very amateurish artist. Okay, and remember, I don't have any silicone in here. You can put silicone in here. Absolutely. And then you just start tilting. Uh, the one I did yesterday, it was, for me, I thought it was so cool that it looked like a vertebrae and a fingerprint. Uh, somebody told me they thought it looked like the little weather maps, uh, sonar, where the weatherman puts on there the direction of the winds and where storms are going and things like that. Sorry, I have to put this up this way for a minute. Um, someone said it reminded them of wood and of salmon, a salmon fillet. Oh my gosh, just everything. It really is a really cool effect, and you can do so much with it. I mean, I, I couldn't even sleep last night. I was up until about 4 o'clock in the morning. I really, truly was. And all I was thinking about was, what can I do? Like, I can do this entire process the same as I did it. I can add cells to it, which might be kind of cool, by putting a little bit of silicone or alcohol in it. Or... I can do different shapes, or I can tilt differently, or like it is now, we can do just do part of the canvas or part of the board. You can stretch it out more, stretch it out less. You can stretch it in a different direction, like yesterday, somehow it came up with, to me, I, I thought it looked more like a vertebrae, like a spinal column. It was crazy. So that kind of stuff to me is really neat that we can do so many different things by using the same exact process and just tilting it differently in different directions. I'm kind of digging this one. Let me stretch it down here a little bit more. Hopefully you guys can see how easily that white comes off.
Gosh, I love this. I have no idea if anyone else has done this. So forgive me if there is someone out there that this is something they do because I have no idea. I don't know why I did it. It just kind of came to me to try something different because I was tired of what I was getting. So I did this. And I might, I might leave some white. Do you guys see this? Is that not cool? I'm undecided now. Oh, I hate that. Do you ever get at that moment where something is really cool and then you just totally mess it up because you're trying to do too much? I feel like that's my what I'm doing right now. I hope not. Oh, that's beautiful. I really, really love this. I'm going to try and get a little bit more of this corner white going. And then, honestly, if you get a little bit of the white left that you don't like, I mean, absolutely, I poured a little bit of... <coughs> Is that so cool? Like, I'll show you. This corner has a little bit of white left on it. So I'm just going to pour in the same... If I can get any more out of here. Yeah, I can. I'm just going to pour, pour in the same direction of what's on there now. So I'm just going to follow those curves. And then do a little bit more of a tilt to... Can you tell I'm one of those people that can't do and talk at the same time? Not when it comes to art, anyway. Now it'll get the paint to go over that way a little bit more. I love this. I do, guys love I'm going to touch this a little bit because I want it to run off better than it's doing there we go and then I'm just going to back it off before all the good stuff gets to the edge there we go and then I'm going to tilt it back this way again I think I want to get this in the middle the spirals or a little bit closer to the middle I should say not exactly in the middle. I do really like it. So there we go. So now all I'm going to do is go around and touch up the edges. I'm going to take my gloves off so I can take the camera up there before I go touch up all the edges. So you can see it. Oh, I love it. So here you go. Is that so cool? Look at all that gold. It's beautiful. I mean, and you can change the layering because I put more white uh, in the middle. So that's why there's so much white. I put it in the middle and at the bottom, um, or first in the cup, I should say, so it's last out. So if you don't want that much white, then, you know, put the teal in the bottle, or in the bottom, 
or put the gold in the bottom uh, whatever you prefer I mean you can do so much it's just gorgeous look at that and that's just a little bit of the white paint I may I may blend that off of there so there you go guys I will post uh, when it's dried and show you what it looks like but I'm very excited and I hope it helps everyone thanks again bye